Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My ginormous bun and I are happy to see that you're back. How are you doing? Um, what's your zodiac sign? Talk to me. I'm looking for feedback. Let me know what you think about this tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about a palette I made by Makeup Geek. I have never tried out Makeup Geek products and I'm really excited to see how it feels what it looks like. Um, yeah, so I put this all together all by myself. I'm <laughs> choosing some of those shades that I really liked. And I've been trying to think of a name of what I want to call this, but these are all of the colors that I just really feel like are really pretty with my eyes or would be pretty on my eyes, so I should like this, right? So that was the first time I've ever been able to make my own palette, which is pretty fun. <laughs> Definitely recommend it. And then I've got two of their foiled pigments. One of them is Supernatural and one of them is Hocus Pocus. And I'd be lying if I didn't choose these based on their um, names. Yeah, I love Supernatural, the show, and Hocus Pocus is definitely one of my favorite movies. So let's get started. I'm gonna start by swatching these because I have no idea how they're gonna look on my skin and I usually don't swatch, but today I am. All right. <laughs> Okay, so I've swatched, and I don't know if you can see these, but they're all right here. Very pretty colors. I'm loving the shimmer shades. This one and this one are gorgeous. But yeah, so uh, the first one here, so pale, banana split. Um, I think this one was cheetah bear. Yeah, no. Honey Badger, Cheetah Bear, Flamethrower is the really glittery one with the shimmer, um, Bitten, Mystical, Tuscan Sun, and Peach for the Stars. Cute names, but yeah, love those. I don't even know, like I think I'm just gonna like do them all because they're really gorgeous and I just want to try them all on my lid right now. But I'm going to take that off. I'm also going to try to incorporate these foiled pigments in as well so I'm going to swatch those really quick. So this one's Hocus Pocus. That one's Hocus Pocus. But yeah. Yeah. Love that. Supernatural Hocus Pocus is the top one very pretty. So yeah, I'm gonna try to use all of these on my eyes. We'll see if it's possible or not, but love, really loving the payoff of these so far. Also love that they gave me a face mask when I ordered. So included with my order was a little face mask that says makeup geek. So I will definitely be wearing that to work. I do want to talk to you guys again. And I do want to talk to you guys today about something I watched on Netflix. <laughs> and I promise you I have a life outside of watching Netflix, but for the most part, um, I watch I watch a lot of TV. So, um, yeah, I watched um, a full season of Unsolved Mysteries in one night. That's like eight episodes. Um, I watched one and I wanted to solve all the mysteries. Um, the first two or three it was most definitely the husbands. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say it was probably the husbands, but also the way they tell it, it kind of gives you a biased view of the mystery. Like it's like they leave out certain clues. Like it's like I feel like there's more information that the detectives probably had. <clears throat> Of course, this confidential that, as a viewer of the show, does not know. Um, but the first one, that one, I'm not saying it's aliens, but it could have been aliens. <laughs> it's just weird. Like, if you watch it, you'll understand what I mean. But they did do an alien episode. And I'm going to go ahead and get started because I'm chatting and sometimes I forget to do my makeup while I'm doing well, I'm doing my talk. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with 
think I'm going to use banana split and I'm just I've already primed my upper lid with the Tarte Shape Tape and I need to I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty primer to just prime my lid a little bit. But I'm not going to lie and I'm going to go in now with the color this is the peach one. Peach for the stars is this one right down here. I really like this color. So I think if I were to name this palette, I would name it something like Autumn Vineyard. That's the best thing I can think of. It reminds me of like wine colors and like gray, like one of the colors, I think it's Bitten. Yeah, Bitten reminds me of like a wine color. So like Autumn Vineyard just seems appropriate. It might be cheesy, but. If I were ever to make a palette, I think I would do like, I, I honestly, I probably couldn't just do one palette. If I were to make my own palette, I would have to do several kind of like little ones, kind of like this, like how ColourPop does it as well. Cause I, my mind is all over the place all the time. Like I'd want to do vivids, but then I would want to do my like wine colors. Like I can't just pick a th one theme. I want to be all the themes. <laughs> uh, that's what you get for being an anagram seven, y'all. Don't wish. I don't wish it on anybody. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Cheetah Bear next. It's this one in the top corner. It's really pretty. It's like a kind of brown, rusty color. I'm gonna go on the outer edge with that. Now I'm gonna go in with Bitten, and it's this beautiful like wine color right here. And all of these are mattes that I've used some so far. I'm just gonna do that on the outer edge and kind of thicken it out. Okay, so now oh, I definitely want to use a foil on my inner corner and I think I'm going to go in with Hocus Pocus because it's gorgeous. I'm so ready for fall y'all. Like can I just say like I'm so ready for fall. Okay, so this is mystical. Okay, and I think I'm going to use the same brush to go into um, Hocus Pocus to just kind of blend those together. So pretty already. I'm obsessed. And I don't think I told you guys this, but I am going to use these lashes called Nicole um, from Makeup Geek. Very fluttery, very flirty. I'm going to line my eyes like I usually do and kind of smoke it out a little bit more. And I am so excited, but I finally bought a full size um, Milk Cosmetics Hydro Grip primer. So I'm going to go in with my NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner. It's like my favorite liquid liner of all time. Okay. Sorry, I had to let my cat in. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to prime my face like I said I would with the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. And I'm actually going to use my Fenty um, foundation that I thought was too dark for my skin. But since I've been out in the sun a lot, it actually matches my skin perfectly right now. And I'm going to use that for foundation today. But have you guys ever thought about what your retirement job would be? <laughs> like... You know, when you retire, like, what would be your job? Because I think I know what mine would be. If I can get over my whole stage fright thing. And my best friend and I have talked about this before. Like, what would we do if we were retiring? She said she'd go to car shows and, like, be one of the ladies in the hats sitting at a car show doing something affiliated with that. And I could totally see her doing that. But for me, like, I think my thing would be probably living in Savannah, Georgia, which is the coolest city 
if you haven't been to Savannah, Georgia, you're doing yourself a disservice because there's so much history there and it's so cool. But I would love to live there and just do ghost tours. <laughs> yeah, that would be my retirement job. I've given it a lot of thought. I think I'd be great at it. And by that time, I'll probably be halfway to senile. And no one, everyone's just looking for someone to entertain them and I think that's gonna be me. I'm just not gonna care anymore what anyone thinks and just say, make, make your visit to Savannah worthwhile. <laughs> but I'm kidding by the way. <laughs> but there might be a little bit of truth in that one day. Okay, this is a shit. <laughs> Excuse me. This is shape tape and I'm just highlighting the high points of my face. But I mean, what would your retirement job be? I mean, have you thought about this? Because it's like, you're, I just feel like I'm gonna get really bored, like, just sitting at home every day. Even when I'm like 70, I'm gonna be bored sitting at home every day. It's, it's like 39 years from now, but still. Yeah. That's hard to believe, like 39 years, that's like a little, that's like eight years more than what I am in age now. When you think of it like that, it, it makes you realize, wow, I have a lot of time. Maybe. <laughs> so I had two cups of coffee today. I usually only do one, but I really wanted to seem awake in my video. And I feel like I definitely am awake. And if you see my curtain moving, it's just my cat. He's probably gonna knock it down in just a second. I think I'm gonna use Cheetah Bear. That's probably my new favorite, like, blending color. I love this warm brown color. It's beautiful. It's this color up here at the top. It's so pretty. And it's just a matte. It's a matte color. But I'm gonna go under my eye with that color. I just, I'm going in with uh, Tuscan Sun that middle color that's like a little bit lighter. I'm gonna go on my inner corner. Nice. And now I'm gonna put on some lashes. Oh my gosh, so I freaking love these lashes. Yes. And I'm gonna put a little bit of Hocus Pocus on my inner lid. I'm gonna just bronze my face and I'm gonna use the and I'm using the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer in the color Teddy. This one is new. I loved Macchiato so much. I wanted to try a darker color. Okay. Okay, I am bronzed. And now I'm going to use Vampira from Kat Von D or, sorry, KVD now to line my lips. It's a liquid liner or liquid, sorry. It's a liquid lipstick by KVD Beauty. I'm gonna line my lips with it. And this stuff dries pretty fast. Okay, and now I'm just gonna use some liner to kind of like correct any mistakes. I'm just using the NYX Prune Liner. Another KVD Beauty um, liquid lipstick. This one's my favorite. This one's um, Bauhaus. Bauhaus? Okay, so I did my hair a little bit and I'm gonna do the Fenty Beauty Cream and uh, Bikini Martini. And it looks like it won't match, but it just looks like a little bit of a flush to the face. And it ends up blending like really nicely and looking really natural on me at least even though it looks like it's bright out, bright pink. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you also have any goals for your retirement plan, leave them below. I'm interested in what they are. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. And you guys have a great day. Bye. <laughs>